What's up, everybody? Today is April 1st, and if you're in New York State, that means today is opening day for all public access on trout streams. Um, generally, I avoid fishing on April 1st. It's usually like super crowded, but we've got some rain. It's also really early in the day, and I'm hoping that I can get into some fish before the crowds come and uh, yeah, maybe land a couple nice fish in a couple wild sections or a holdover slash wild that are not stocked. Um, I got a couple spots in mind. So anyway, uh, tag along with me and uh, let's go fishing. super well at like 100 to 200 CFS. It was 280 this morning, we're down to 250, so we're dropping. Um, hoping it just means fish are in the pockets um, or in the, the soft water on the side. Um, we're gonna throw that black death intruder. Hope for the best. This is one of the wider parts of the stream. Never fished here. It's like a park. Uh, I don't know. It looks like it would swing okay, so heck, why not? Just kind of hope there's a fish kind of somewhere hiding. Find some rocks, along the bank. Uh, yeah, we got this new Cascopedia. Small, I wish it was a little bigger, but it feels kind of nice in my hand. Like the rod balances very well where I hold it while it's swinging. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Heck, let's just see what happens. So, uh, come along for the ride. Hope you enjoy. Let's catch some fish. Peace. Either way, that's my little fly today. Looks great in the water. I might even attach like a little off the tail of that, like, I don't know, maybe I might put like a little, uh, like a little leech or a stone and swing that with it because that might work. I thought I just had a grab. I don't know if this is too deep again or too fast, but... There you go. Let that sink real deep.
really nice to get one fish on the swing today. It's kind of my hope. Trust me, snapping in a second here. Just a, is a fish. You might not want a dead steelhead swing. That's the only thing I can think of. So maybe the fish doesn't want a dead steelhead swing, which is my favorite because I love feeling them on a tighter line. But I'm not really going to complain. Oh, I had a grab. Darn it. Maybe it'll come back. Ah, right when I jigged. Poo. That's why I like clicking paw reels. You know when they bite. All right, maybe he's still in the run, but probably not. So we'll end up moving down a little bit. Oh, there we go. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, that's a good fish too. Wow. And it's on camera. Oh, hear that Cascopedia go. Woohoo! I don't know how big this fish is, but it hit. That's all that matters. Oh, that's a decent fish. Come on, come to come in. Uh oh, I gotta reach my net. Oh, he's in the current. That's a good fish. Wow. Uh oh. Ugh. Jeez, that is a good fish for this stream. Oh man, I lied, David. That's a good fish for this stream. And he's not happy. And I can't blame him. Hook pops right out. That was great. That's a good, that's about a 16, 17 inch fish. All right, there he is. And away he goes. Oh man. That was fun. That was moment of resting a fish on a swing after you felt them hit, you, you, you'll hear that reel kind of pull a little bit of line. And that's why I really like quick and falls for the trout spay because you can feel them real easy. I gave him 45 seconds, swung it in there, did that little snap, wham, the fish was on. Ugh. They made. They made. It's just great to like. You're a fish on the swing. All right, let's go back to fish, shall we? Okay. Well, I can make some short or some video of that. So anyway, we're just gonna work back that same amount of line, which is you know, about I think it's about there. Oops. That wasn't the greatest cast. I'm okay with it. So it seems that Chittenango Trout, and yes, now you know where I'm fishing. Oh, there's another one? That was really unexpected, holy cow. That's a much better fish too. No, no. Okay, good, I didn't lose him. I thought I lost him for a second. I was just letting him run. Wow, this is a day. I hope you guys can see this. Oh, that's a good fish. Come on, he's coming right at me. I really like this snap all of a sudden. Okay. 
Yeah. Oh, man. And I don't really want to haul him. Current here is kind of strong. Man. This is the time that, like I said earlier in the video, I think I put too much backing on this reel and I can't reel much farther than this, which is okay. Oh, we just gotta kinda surf him into the net <laughs> in the current, which is really hard. Man, that's two great fish, one after the other. Look at that, just look at that fish. That's a wild fish. So this is a wild brown from this stream. We're actually gonna bring him out of the current a little bit. Man. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is fish number two on the swung fly. Look at that. I know it's kind of, whoa, don't break me off. Yeah, he's gone. That's okay, he popped the hook as I was getting it out. Kind of just hooked funny in his face. That's number two. Let's get a third one. <laughs> so when I get home, I gotta take some of that backing off, considering there's not a lot of fish that'll pull 250 feet with this reel. Stop, no way. That's even bigger. So they're all stacked up in the slack water. Holy cow. <laughs> oh man, that is just so fun. That is a much larger fish, I think. Yeah, that's a nice fish. I know there's fish in this river that can get, well this creek. I can get 20 inches, and that's a bigger fish. I can kind of see the shadow snap. Today's a good day. They must be all kind of stacked up directly underneath. Where is he? Oh, dear. Oh. I can't really see him. Oh, that's a good fish. Holy cow. I don't want to lose him. be my first 20 inch brown from this stream. I'm not kidding you, that might be my first 20 inch brown. I wish I had a measuring tape. Ugh. And this lady and gentlemen is why I swing flies. It is just such a nice fish, holy cow. That really might be my first 20 inch fish. I wish I clipped my running line a little bit. Man, where is he? I knew that was a good fish when he wasn't moving. Oh. That's a good fish, holy cow. Wow, he is not happy, holy cow. Yeah, and he is halfway down the river now. All right. Oh, Nikes. <laughs> oh my God, this is a good, this is a big fish. Come on, come on. Holy cow. This is definitely my biggest fish ever out of this stream. And I have to land him. Man. Don't take me on those logs. I know you want to. I can see you going over there and you are not allowed to do so. And I'm just trying to confuse him. And I know he wants to run again because I can feel him wanting to do so. Come on, come on, come on. I see, oh my God, oh my God. That's a big fish. This is actually a big fish. Like most of the fish I catch are like 16. This is definitely over 16 inches. <sighs> Sorry where my, I know my lot, my. Yes! Oh my God! 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh holy cow. That is without a doubt the biggest trout I've ever caught on this stream. That is the biggest fish I've caught on the swing. This is a wild fish pushing 20 inches in snow on my local water. Oh my god, just look at this fish. He ate that with anger. This is 20 inches. Look at that donkey. Look at that jaw. All right, buddy. Thank you so much. That was so fun. I just can't get over this fish. Oh my god. All right. Yes. Oh. Well, that is definitely the way to wrap a video. Thanks for joining. Shout out to the number one spay trout spay fly ever, the Black Death. Have a good day, y'all.